Hey gang, back again at the Lux Beer Reviews. Oh, Mikey boy. Another episode of As the Beer Swirls. Dan. Okay. I'm Mike. Dan, tell us all about the Just Fruit we're drinking right now. Wait. Hold on. Mike, this isn't a frequent of Just Fruit. That, that's not a Just Fruit. Do they make beer that's not just fruit? Apparently so. Well, and guess what? That? We found one. All right. What are we drinking, Dan? Uh, this is uh, IPA, a double, a double IPA. IPA. This is their 173. So they don't really name their IPAs. There's numbers. Do uh, you know what the numbers are for? I do not. Why don't you enlighten me? What the brilliant Dave does is uh, assigns numbers to all their hops they use. And... Uh, then he adds them together and comes up with a number. Any number over 100 means it's a double. Really? Indeed. All right. All right. Uh, this is coming in at 8.5 ABV. Mm. And this was canned on, I know they stamped it. Oh, they put on the it. dates on that. That's right there. For Quentin knows what they're doing. 7 16 21. So mm. today is the 24th. So yeah, we're like a week out. Uh, this is brewed with Brew One, Southern Passion, and El Dorado. It sounds good to me. Full transparency, had this guy last night. Full transparency, had this guy last week. But that's okay. That's okay. But it was more so I was just drinking it to drink. It wasn't yeah, like yeah. dissecting it or yeah. anything. So. Which is fun to do once in a while. Yeah, I mean, definitely. So <laughs> It's like you forget how to drink beer. So we're going to try and dissect it right now. Uh, Dave, you're still kind of on the hook for it. But it's bad. Yeah, that's so. true. Yeah. All right. All right. We're yeah, right. We're right. So this is kind of a what'd you call this? I would call this uh, peach juice mixed with orange, kind of looking IPA, about a quarter of uh, fingers head. Yeah, kind of rocky. Uh, yeah. Nah, it's pretty a little compact. Little compact, but yeah, it looks. It's a. a it's a thick looking color. Like it's Remember a, what you call mortalis? Squash. Oh, squash juice? Squash juice. This looks like squash juice. But hey. what I can tell, it's gonna be delicious squash juice. Huh, you so, hope so. I do. Let's get a whiff on it. Let's do it. I'm not getting any squash, so that's a plus. I'm getting like plenty of like uh Zucchini and mm -hmm. all that. And, mm -hmm. Yeah. All, all, and, yeah. Yeah. All your your seeded vegetables. <laughs> uh, no, we're just we're just playing. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> honestly, the nose like it it smells tropical, but it's kind of muted for me. It's yeah, kind of it, muted. it's very subtle, very muted. It's that it doesn't like pop. Um. Yeah, I mean, honestly, I'm just getting like a, a faint mm -hmm. tropical vibe. Yeah, I'm not really. Yeah, you know. I think it's that. Uh, it's those faint, faint aromas on there that kind of just open the door a little bit and say, "Get ready for the mouth on this one." Is what I've noticed in other beers. Cup. Yeah, tropicals there. Tropical. Yeah, tropical zest to it. All right. Let's see if it tastes away. Cheers. This better be good. Oh God. Oh God. <sighs> Never again. Only just fruit on this channel. Michael. That's it. Just, just fruits. Just maybe a natural once in a while. Uh, no, this is, this is pretty, <laughs> pretty tasty. This is good. <laughs> wow. Can I tell you a little story before we start dissecting this? Please I want do. you to sip it, have some thoughts. Bring we are it. recording, right? Yeah. Before, before you tell a story. Yes, we are recording. We okay. are recording. All right, great. Really I cracked this beer open last night, mm -hmm. and I gave this portion of this beer to a person that typically doesn't like IPAs. Typically has a ooh, IPA face. So, so safe to say they would have nothing to do with a double IPA. Then. Nothing to do with All right. All right. And they took a sip, prepared to hate it. And lo and behold, there was no, ooh, there was no, eh. They took another sip on their own without even just, oh, this is good. I could drink this. Does this beer have magical properties? It might is this, have is magical Is this a properties. beer that can bring people together? It's almost as if 
They had some wizards in the back brewing up some magical concoctions. Now, generally, I'm not down with that kind of dark sorcery in my beverages, but I'm willing to make exceptions from time to time. Right. Um, it's just a, a delicious flavor. It's got a medium body to it. You're getting, I mean, some of these hops I'm not terribly familiar with, but I'm getting a nice kind of green hop burn on the back end of it with... Mixed with those tropical flavors in there, it's a very fine balance to it. Nothing is overpowering. Nothing's jumping over the other to get front and center. It's very good. Yeah, I mean, like I'm getting those tropical notes, right? The when I say tropical notes, folks, it's 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 kind of generalizing the whole pineapple, passion fruit, papaya kind of vibe to it. But on the back, I'm also getting um, a little bit of a melony aspect to yeah, it. Yeah, I'm absolutely getting the melon on the back end. Nice, a nice uh, uh, cantaloupe on the back end, if you yeah. will. Yeah, I had cantaloupe this morning, too, for breakfast. How about that? Yeah, a couple, couple slices, spears. Some might say you having cantaloupe for breakfast and then having cantaloupe in the spear might be some sorcery. Yeah, yeah it could be. Uh, but, yeah... It, it's hitting all the right spots. It's not overly bitter. The mouth is uh, soft, uh, medium, medium body, I would say. Get a little bit of, a couple of legs here on the side of the can. That's kind of fun. It, it doesn't, it's not offensive, too, when you finish it. It's like the bitterness no. is just a subtle kind of mellow bitterness, if that makes sense. It does, because I, I think I was thinking of it in the way of this beer almost doesn't force you, but it makes you want to sip it. Mm. Like you don't want to just chug it. You want to take a drink, sit back for a minute or so, enjoy all the flavors you're getting, dancing around on your palate, and then go back in for another one. And it, it's a mild carbonation. It almost, like the mouthfeel and the carbonation combined, it almost feels like you're drinking like a, not the taste, but the, the mouth, a Sprite. That's been hmm. like in your McDonald's cup. Like you got Sprite with the a paper meal. cups or the the plastic cup. That's a whole different thing. The the plastic okay, cups. Sorry. But it's it's kind of died down. Like you you're about halfway through. Okay. And you know, you got a little hint of the carbonation still there, but it's not really. It's mainly like the syrupy. Okay. Kinda, it's kind of like that. I'll take your word for it. You're more of a Sprite guy than I am. I'm kind of a sweet tea guy, but. <sighs> Yeah, well, I'm a Jenny Kolsch guy, and still someone isn't, so... Yeah, we can't whatever. be perfect. You know what? I'm done with this review. You've ruined it with your talk of sweet tea. All right. Uh, you want to rate this one? Four. 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 Ever. Oh, a four ever. I like that. Uh, shout out to the fam down at Frequentum. Uh, every one of them. Yeah, every one of them. <laughs> You know what? I'm not going to say names, so I didn't. I mean, I'll sit there and rattle off everybody's You names. can say names, but I don't want to, I don't, God forbid I forget anybody, and then just forever. Oh, here comes the guy, can't even thank us for our beer. Thanks, everyone. Uh, yeah, <laughs> go down for Quentin, check him out, Candy Please, New Candy York. Candy New York. Yeah, South Main Street. Uh, and down. check us out yeah. on other places, Instagrams, Untaps, Twitters. Yeah, all down below in the description. All you gotta click is that little arrow This is more. And I'll open up and boom, links on links on links. Indeed. So, like we said before, if you can't get a hold of us, it's your fault and you're not trying hard enough. Absolutely. Thanks for watching.